after the whole Russia World Cup, like the channel blew up. I was getting like crazy amounts of uh, subscriber gains. It kind of doubled my channel at the time. Like, I think I, I got to 100,000 like, like why, why really quickly. That? I was going to ask you next about the whole, I think this was a massive uh, time in your YouTube career, the yeah. whole World Cup thing, yeah, like 2018. So how yeah, did the opportunity? Oh, I remember the World Cup. Uh, Scotland. <sighs> We're going to Where the we Euros. Uh, I can. How did that come about? The opportunity to go there. Um, well, we've been going to England away, me and my dad, for a, for a little bit of time. So we went to a lot of the home games to stack up the points, which yeah. basically meant that we'd get tickets to the away England away games. A lot of people decided not to book tickets for Russia because they thought it would all just kick off and be one massive fight yeah. and like you wouldn't be welcome. So there was actually a lot of tickets available if you had the points and we hmm. did. So what yeah. was your experience in Russia? Well, it was, it was funny. There's loads of different stories that came out of it looking back, but it was actually really surprisingly good um, for the tournament. You know, it was great to see England get to the semifinals. Yeah. Gone a great Panama. run. Yeah, I know it's Panama, but you know, we beat Colombia. We beat some decent teams too. Like we smashed Sweden out of the park. Like it, people say, oh, we just beat the small teams, but it was a great run. And we did though. Yeah, that's true. It's true. Yeah, we did. I was so happy when Iceland won. I just want to spit that. That was the that. Euros. That was the Euros. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah. fuck. <laughs> Bastard. That was Carry crazy. on, mate. Carry on. As you say, yeah. sorry, I interrupted you. And that's okay. But yeah, it was mostly, I just really enjoyed it because we're out there in Russia and we're being respected and everybody thought we wouldn't be. These Russians were welcoming us to just just everything. It's been nice to us. There's a lot of media propaganda that does go on with but, it, with global events, though. Yeah, like, definitely. A lot of the time, it's all right. But mm. if you watch the, the Reggie Yates like thing on Netflix where he goes to Russia, it's like the, it's painted as if Russians are just like racist. <laughs> yeah, like it's always they are like that. though. There's like, a lot as a are. nation. It, there yeah. is a lot there. Are. Yeah, let's but, pretend. But it's a really bad not. problem. It's it's a minority, and mm. that's what people don't understand. They think every Russian is yeah. it's a vocal, vocal minority, though. Yeah. The vocal minority it weighs because it's true. But vocal. the thing is, yeah, it's, it's like from my experience, not my experience, from my friends' experience, I've had a few friends who have gone to Russia and they've had really bad experiences yeah. of what has happened when they yeah. were there. Obviously, black people, like, mm. they're my black friends, not just white friends. And they've told me about them. And I'm like, I cannot believe it because mm. obviously, whilst we live in England, a black man could walk down the street generally and not get hurled abuse at. In general, like it might happen, yeah, but true. that would be a lot less frequent than what would happen, like mm. in Russia. Or I actually saw quite country. a few, um, well, just like black England fans out there, and mm. also like Nigeria, like I think mm. there was a few others. I forgot. I don't might have been Ghana, and they just walked down the streets. And to be fair, I, I never saw any. any you bad you situation. should feel safe though in I, those kind of situations, yeah. which is the mental thing. Yeah, but and I it's think crazy it, that you, that even needs to be a thing. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. it's mental. Well, didn't you? Was it? Was it the World Cup where you, told, you were telling us earlier about the spy thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so basically, it? after the whole Russia World Cup, like the channel blew up. I was getting like crazy amounts of uh, subscriber gains. It kind of doubled my channel at the time. Like, I think I, I got to 100,000 like, like, why, why really was that? quickly. Um, during the Russia World Cup. Yeah, but like, was it every day you uploaded? Oh, every day. I was posting like once or twice a day. Were you editing yourself? I was editing myself. It was like Fuck the bloody, most yeah. unbelievable grind you will <laughs> ever see. Like, it was mental. We were just like, Making the content, finding a cafe, editing, getting the video. Was it up. was it quick uploads like cut cut cut? Oh yeah yeah. It would have had to have been for two videos a day it, surely. To be fair, it wasn't much um, like it wasn't much editing needed because it's mm. just like daily vlogging. But sometimes even then it takes time. Even it's true for a render. Yeah, that yeah. that's true. That was a big problem rendering and then finding the right Wi-Fi. But luckily we had like <laughs> we had Starbucks. Uh, so sorry, please let me use your Wi-Fi. I can imagine trying to find Wi-Fi uh, on the go. Well, card. luckily we had like SIM cards and and for the World Cup they actually made all their data like 4G. Uh, I think oh, it's really? called LTE, which is like above 4G. Oh, okay. And I don't know if it's above here, but when you go abroad, sometimes it is, and it was really rapid. Um, especially around the stadium, so we were lucky in that sense. Yeah, because I was looking at your channel during the World Cup, and it was just going. Yeah, yeah. A proper bang, and I yeah. think it was because every day. Mm. But what was this, the spy thing? Like this, that well, happened? basically, um, on mainstream Russian TV, they had an actual talk on about me and about me and my dad going out there and whether we were paid to do it from Russians who were like high up in Russia who wanted to basically make it a little bit more of a smoother kind of a situation between England and Russia because it was very bad at the time. Mm. And, you know, that's why all the media came out before the Rush World Cup saying, don't go, you're going to get beaten up, you're not going to be welcome. Well, we went and it wasn't that case. And we just said what, was, what the truth was. We won, we had a good time, right? Um, and then after that, 
all these Russian people were going on like, actually, most of the Russians really liked me, but there were people saying that we were being paid. We were like- By Russia? Uh, yeah, by Russians. And then we were like, we were just been getting paid by spies. Can and you imagine? It was crazy. I had to publicly tweet out. I, was, I had to publicly tweet out saying, no, I've not been paid thousands of rubles to do this. Rubles? Thugden and Thugden yeah. thug are like Russian spies. Yeah. It would be a good move. It would, because would no one would expect it. But they did. To be fair, what would you? Be, what would be your killer line. move if you if you were a spy? I just want to know. Knuckleball. Uh, knuckleball. Like Iron knuckleball to the temple. Do you know where the body on Iron Man Two comes from? Russia. Really? Oh, okay, it doesn't matter. My just, bad. I shouldn't have said it. I don't uh, know. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how did that all end? Up, like end? Um, well, they just had that talk, and then things started dying down after the Russia World Cup. It was really actually a shame because I had loads of new Russian subscribers because they're watching my Russian vlogs and seeing what I think of these different cities. And then they all un basically unsubscribed. After the um, after the World Cup, oh. because they don't really speak English, like it's not they don't yeah. all know it very well. Mm. So I kind of had to deal with a big unfollowing, a big un. I lost uh, five hundred followers after England got put out because I was so annoyed of the "It's Coming Home" tweets. So when they got put out, I tweeted out "It's Coming Home." Really, you and lost this... lost five hundred followers, and then there was a meltdown well, because of that. Them. I had Scots writing to me during that Russia twenty eighteen World Cup saying, well, "I'm back in England because we because we're not there." They've and... got a heart. That yeah, was def exactly. de definitely Rangers fans that were saying Probably. that. Definitely. I, I, I remember, I'll never forget meeting a Rangers fan in, um, in Czech Republic. He was just there on the piss off and he said, oh, for England to Scotland, I was like, bloody hell, mate. Rangers what, fan. What was his yeah. name? Just, don't just, remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> I was pissed. Battered. Getting rushed at the pub in Scotland. No, yeah, uh, yeah Scot Scots really, in general, don't like England, surely. No, because you tried yeah. to invade us for over fucking that hundred years. Dumb. That was half the world, but they managed to get over it. Like, <laughs> I, mean, I don't think so. <laughs> Please. Uh, what was you in the World Cup? What was your like biggest? I don't want to say story, but what was like your most memorable moment of it? England, Colombia in Moscow when we beat them on pens. Mm. Yeah, that was oh my god, the seeds of that. I remember just fucking running around the living yeah. room. Just I was yeah, at the yeah, kickoff yeah. that episode. It was oh really? Mental. Yeah. yeah. It was everyone was just throwing the beers in the air. And everything. Because all the pubs as well. Like you'd walk on the street. I'd probably say it's the happiest England's ever been. Really? For, whilst I've lived in London. And well, it we, was. Then we got Boris Johnson. <laughs> right. Twenty twenty happened. Yeah. Well, Fuck yeah. Was yeah. it? Um, wasn't England winning? Then Colombia scored in the last minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were losing the penalty shootout thanks to George. Was it back? Was it backer that scored? Um, backer missed. And then oh. um, I, th I forgot who scored. I think it was Rashford um, or someone like that. And then Eric Dyer won it with a dodgiest penalty. And, and Ospina oh, went the right yeah. way. And it was still went in. It was the weirdest thing you've ever seen. I remember like, West Ham were really, really trying to get uh, Carlos back up. Uh, oh, and then yeah. he missed. And I was like, you bastard. Yeah, for cool. <laughs>